Grab your cup of coffee because today I'm going to show you how to buy your own Bitcoin and secure it. Let's go. Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to buy Bitcoin and how to store Bitcoin on your own wallet, on your computer to keep it secure and safe. And I'm gonna go over that today. So first thing, this is a fresh copy of Windows 10. First thing we're gonna do is download the Brave browser. So I'm getting onto Internet Explorer so I can download the Brave browser. So basically the Brave browser doesn't track uh, or sell any of your information. So we have issues with the other browsers like Google Chrome and all the other browsers that actually sell your information and track where you're going. So instead we're going to use Brave Browser, which is more secure. Especially when you're using cryptocurrency, you want to be as secure as possible. Okay, download Brave. Download Brave for Windows. And save. And Brave is a pretty light browser. It reminds, it's honestly just like Google Chrome. So I don't think you'll notice any differences. Okay, and you can see installation complete. There's our Brave browser there. And it automatically is gonna open a Brave browser uh, window. So we can close out the Internet Explorer. Okay, so here Brave browser is opening. Now, the next thing we want to do is to go to download our cryptocurrency wallet. And that's exactly what we wanna do is go to exodus.io. You can see it there. And Exodus is the wallet we want to use. So we're going to say exit, get Exodus now. And mobile download at the top. And if you scroll down, you'll find the desktop version. So download the desktop. We're running Windows here, so we'll download Windows. Save. Okay, once that's complete, go ahead and click on your exodus.exe file. We'll minimize our Brave browser. Okay, so that completed the installation of Exodus. So now we can go ahead and launch our Exodus application. So this Exodus wallet is now on our computer. So now we're going to set up some security and everything to make sure that it's nice and secure. So when we send Bitcoin to our wallet, it will be protected and uh, more secure than having it on an online exchange somewhere like Coinbase. Okay, so this is the screen that you are welcome to when you first open Exodus. Uh, you can see there was no password or anything uh, to get into it. Uh, so that's the first thing we want to do is to set up a password. Uh, so first we're actually gonna go click on this wallet button. And you'll see that opens up your Bitcoin wallet which has zero Bitcoin in it, zero US dollars. Um, there's a send and receive. We're going to get into that later, but just to show you, here's your Bitcoin wallet. Um, then we're going to go over to the little gear icon, which is settings. And you want to go to backup and then create a password. So this is a password that you really want to remember. Um, if you forget your password, there's a chance that you won't be able to get your cryptocurrency assets and 
Um, you can think of it like you're your own bank now. So you have to take really careful consideration for securing your, your value, your assets. So now that you've written your password in, you'll, there's a 12 word phrase that is another backup method. So if you forget your password, but you've kept your 12 word phrase, then chances are you can back up your wallet. So uh, you can print your phrase, which prints all 12 of these words. You'll wanna keep these words in a secure place because if someone has access to these words, they can also back up your wallet from somewhere else and steal your currency. So um, just make sure you write down these words and keep them in a secure place. I'm gonna go through them quickly because this is just a tutorial. Aim. Okay, so now your backup is complete. Now next time you log into Exodus, it'll ask you for your password. So let's go back to the Exodus home button and then click on your wallet. And now we want to send Bitcoin to our Bitcoin wallet in Exodus. So we need to go click receive because this wallet is going to receive Bitcoin. So click on receive. And now you want to copy your Bitcoin address. Okay, so let's minimize this. And now let's go buy Bitcoin on Coinbase. If you don't have a login already, go ahead and sign up but I already have one, and so go ahead and just log in. If you already have Bitcoin on Coinbase and you just want to send it out, then you can just follow the send receive instructions. But first I have to buy some because I don't have any Bitcoin on Coinbase. I'll wait for it to load first. You'll see my portfolio balance is zero. Okay, so we'll say buy, sell. Okay, so we're gonna do $150. So I'm gonna go ahead and select preview buy. Okay, and then it'll tell you, you wanna select what you're paying with, of course. It'll tell you what the current price is and then how much you're purchasing um, in your total and you can go ahead and select buy now. Okay, so we successfully purchased our Bitcoin. So now I'm going to select send or receive. Okay, and you can select send all, or you can send part of it. So we're gonna send all of it. And it says to enter an email or Bitcoin address. So we'll go ahead and send it to our Bitcoin address. Remember we have our Exodus wallet over here. So let's open that back up. And then we, we look at our, our, your Bitcoin address. So as a reminder of how to get there, and of course, as a reminder of how to get there, in your wallet, here's your Bitcoin. You can send Bitcoin or receive it. We want to receive Bitcoin in our wallet. So we hit receive and we're going to copy our Bitcoin address. Now go back to Coinbase. And then what you want to do is paste your Bitcoin address in here. So now you want to confirm. So double check 
here's our first three letters, BC1, and our last three letters are 4W7. So let's double check that with our Exodus wallet, BC1, 4W7. Okay, that looks correct. So let's go back to Coinbase. So here's our address. Um, you can select a optional note, um, like we can list the date today or whatever note you would like to do. It's not required, optional. And go ahead and hit continue. So now it's saying you are sending your amount that you purchased to such and such wallet. This is after they take out the fees, of course. Uh, here's the network fee. And this is the total amount that you're sending and then how long it will take to, uh, an estimated how long it'll take to get there. So go ahead and hit send now. And you can double check it one more time, BC1, 4W7. BC1, 4W7, okay. Send. And now you, for me I have a second Verification code. Okay. Confirm. Okay, so we've sent our Bitcoin now to our address. So now we have to wait uh, to see when that when Exodus receives that Bitcoin. So now we'll go back over to our Exodus wallet and we'll wait until we receive that Bitcoin in there. And it's only been about 30 seconds and you can see we've already received our Bitcoin in our Bitcoin address. So here's our Bitcoin wallet and there's the money that we just purchased in Bitcoin and sent it to our Exodus wallet. So now the great thing about it is if I close out of my Exodus wallet and next time I go into my Exodus account, it is password protected, so hopefully you've remembered your password. So now it's off of the Coinbase exchange, so if Coinbase gets hacked or if something goes wrong on Coinbase, you always will have your Bitcoin secured in your own wallet. Um, and you even has, have access to your private keys if you want to get into that. That's more of an advanced feature that I think I'll go over uh, another time, but uh, at least for now, you know how to uh, buy Bitcoin and secure it in your own wallet. So now you log in. And there's your Bitcoin, secure. So this is actually a much better way of storing your Bitcoin rather than leaving it on an online exchange where it can get hacked or something can happen to it. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and uh, please like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Thank you so much.